Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, West Indy Collection. If you're new to my channel, welcome babes. I'm glad to have you here. So pretty much my vlog is a little bit about everything from, you know, travel vlogs, controversy, you know, family vlogs, cleaning, fashion, lifestyle, you name it. So this, my channel is pretty much a little bit of everything that I enjoy and anything motivational for you guys that, you know, can help make your life better. So if you are interested, make sure you guys are definitely hitting the subscribe button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the post notifications and like in this video because I have so much more things, you know, planned for you guys. This video is going to basically be about motivational tips to help you elevate, like base pretty much elevate your life, you know, and a lot of these tips is also going to be for me, like me taking my own tips, but also for you guys as well, they'll be very much helpful. You guys know I just turned 30 again. Thank you guys for the birthday wishes. I'm just in a new chapter of my life. I'm ready to like really level up, you know, grow, you name it. I'm ready to basically just dive deeper into everything that is meant for me. And, you know, and I'm just ready to just be doing so much content for you guys you feel me so yeah you guys so let's hop right into this video once again don't forget to like this video comment hit the notification subscribe to my youtube channel because that will let youtube um algorithm know that you guys are basically enjoying my videos so i would appreciate it a lot if you guys can do that for me nah. especially my westies besties Okay, so yeah, so basically the first thing that I would like to talk about is if you are looking forward to doing something in life, whether that's like a career, I want to speak may so towards like something you're very passionate about, whether you're working for yourself or you're going towards more in the career field. So my tip on that will be pretty much you can do an intern. Now, I know a lot of our lives are like different, whether you may have children, no children, um, may be feeling like well how would I fit that in my schedule because usually interns they don't pay you but typically that will be good experience you'll be getting knowledge you know and that can help you know open doors for you in the long run so for example if you want to be a lawyer you're pretty much likely you will want to be in a courtroom setting interning a lawyer or a judge you know, a public defender, things of that nature, like just to get that experience. Or if you wanted to be a nurse, like one time when I was going to school, I didn't want to be a nurse, but as a job, I think it was like, I don't know if it was an internship. No, I think it was a summer job or like a school job that I had. And I was actually like an intern, um, basically at a hospital in the cardiac, uh, the cardiac department. So I was able to see the behind the scenes. I was be able to witness patients getting procedures done. I was able to, you know, know what it's like to do filing, tabbing, you know, like office stuff. So that was something I was able to witness. So if I was to go into like the nursing or heart, you know, in that category field, I can at least say, well, look, I have such and such experience. I'm very familiar. So that's all I have to say. I feel like as we are getting older, you know, you want to start knowing what it is that, you know, you want to do in life. And if you need help or guidance, I just feel like that can be a first step for you to help you get your feet in the door and to not procrastinate. If there's something that you're passionate about, you need to hop on it right away. Be fearless, okay? So that is the first tip that I have for you guys. Another one will be to, I'll say, join like groups that you are surrounded by people that will help inspire you people that are in the same like field that you're trying to do because that can kind of help because you guys can network you know things of that nature do meetups whatever you call it i'm sure there's so many people in the world that may have the similar interests as you you guys can all just share ideas ask each other questions you know because they may know something you don't know so that is something that I also suggest as well of whatever it is you're trying to do in life. And also, if you don't join a group, you can also create your own group. So that's another tip I have as well. So this one I have is pretty much like if it's a nice chill day, you don't want to be in the house all day. You just feel like you're probably bored or you're lonely 
or just something to just do just to see nature just to live in the moment like where your thoughts are in the moment it's called living in the moment and or if you just need some peace of mind just want to think you know whether you're by yourself with family friends your children i feel like on a nice beautiful day even if it's not a beautiful day like you could dress for the weather obviously but i would say if you have like a belt line in your city, go for a nice walk on the belt line. I'm sure they have a lot of sceneries that you guys can see, a lot of restaurants, bars, um, just so much activities and also free things that you guys can witness. You never know who you may meet along that path, you know. Um, that is something I know people still do this. Um, you could go to a mall, you know, like during early hours. It could really be like any time. But I know I think people usually do it like in the morning time where you can just simply just jog. Well, no, not jog, but like walk around the mall. Like that's completely free. You won't get in trouble for doing it. People been doing it. I'm not sure how it is like in all states or anything. But you could basically do something like that. Like go for, like do like laps around the mall. Like speed walking basically help you burn off from calories just help you you know just feeling good about yourself and just getting out the house you know just you know just give you opportunity just to get your mind off things and you know i just think that would be a good idea for you um so yeah so you can do that whether that's the mall on our belt line or another thing is like say if you live in an area where there's beaches you guys can also go walk on the boardwalk, you know. I'm a fan of boardwalks. So that's just, it's just nice scenery, you know. You can do it early in the morning, you know. And even on the boardwalk, you can just go for like a nice jog and everything. So use those scenic places just to get out, get your workout in, whether it's jogging, running, walking. It's just, you know, you can like time yourself. There's just so many things you can look forward to and doing something like that. So definitely get up and get out. <laughs> Another tip that I would like to um, give you guys is basically, are you one of them people that gets excited about shopping for cleaning supplies? Are you one of them people? Cause I know I get a shop. I love to shop. Like when I do go shopping, like it is exciting. I know a lot of people don't, but if you're a person that just get excited about shopping for cleaning products, I'll say one day, whenever you need to start fresh, definitely go to like a store, stock up on some cleaning products, you know, get your favorite cleaning products or try a new cleaning product. Cause I swear it's like they're coming out, like they're coming out with like all types of cleaning products. So definitely stack up on some, get whatever you need and just have a day where you just deep clean, like deep clean that fridge um deep clean like clean your walls if your walls need clean um there's just so many things that you can do that's different from just a basic everyday clean you can actually do like a deep clean and just you know turn on that music turn on that audiobook you know turn on that motivational speaking anything that's going to get you pumped and ready to go you know and you will also feel good about yourself because cleaning is also another way it's very like therapeutic it's like a healing thing as well at the same time. So if you're someone who enjoyed cleaning, or even if you didn't enjoy cleaning, but you know, this is just something that you could think about just to get you in that mood, you know? Because we all have days where we don't feel like cleaning or it feels like an everyday process, but you know it needs to get done because you don't want your house being dirty. And overall, who doesn't like a clean crib? So I just feel like that's just always something to like look forward to, you know? So yeah, one day just go shopping for some cleaning supplies, stock up, and just have that day where you're just going in, doing what you gotta do. And also to follow up on that one, you could also paint your walls. So if you feel like, you know, you're living somewhere where, you know, you just your mood feels off or you just feel like it's too dim or it's too bright, whatever the case may be, paint your walls because just like we have feelings and we go by the color wheel that like helps express like how we're feeling that day by you know like our emotions well that's like your home like the atmosphere in your home and you know your home is supposed to be like your safe place so if you didn't like the color of your walls try painting your walls have fun with it get creative like this is your world like be creative in your world you know and with that another 
tip that I have to give you guys is have a day where you're rearranging your furniture. Like you want to rearrange your room. You want to rearrange your living room. You want to change your, like the paintings on your wall. Um, I'm sorry, not the paintings, the pictures on your walls. You may want to change the picture frames. You may want to put those picture frames somewhere else and put like a different picture there. Um, just have fun like decorating your crib like you just because you live somewhere doesn't mean you have to have like everything in the same place all the time no like have fun decorate your bathroom change the shower curtains like let it be a vibe you know like let it be a vibe something that you can enjoy if you have children decorate their room change the theme of the room make it fun if you have a front yard backyard get some nice you know, porch patio, like nice decorate. I'll make it look fun. Decorate for the holidays if you believe in holidays. Like whatever you feel is gonna make your home a vibe. You know, something safe, something where you could think clear at, or have like your own separate area in your home, like your office. Change, decorate your office. There's so many things that you can think of. You don't just have to have your place one way. You can switch it up in many ways. Like whether that's every month, whether that's every two weeks, you know, just something fun just to kind of change, you know, and put you in a different spot. Like it, it's kind of like changing your hairdo. Like, you know, sometimes you just gotta switch it up a bit. <laughs> so another tip I have, my lovely people, is get creative. Like try different DIY projects. There's so many DIY products projects you can do whether it's at home out in public be creative and i get it not everybody may be creative but it's something that you can try it's something that could motivate you to do something put you out of your element it's something that could also probably elevate you in so many ways you may have a hidden talent that you never thought you had before you could just start off by doing that DIY, that diy project and who knows you may start a business from just biking off of that because you did it, whether you post it, you don't post it. It's just something that you can do, you know, something that will make you probably feel like you accomplished something in life, something that may set, you know, a different idea in your head for the future that may just, you know, be your calling, your sign. So that is also something that you can do and just get fun and creative with. And it's not just for you, it can be for anybody of all ages. So that is also something to think about. So another tip that I also have, you guys, is when was the last time, though, that you had checked your credit score? Because in this world, you can have all the money in the world. Money can't always get you out of things or into things, okay, without passing credit. It probably, credit is probably the only thing that cannot that could probably stop you from something, of getting something you probably really wanted. You know, um, so I will say definitely check up on your credit if you're not the type of person to check up on your credit. You know, that's something to definitely keep tabs on throughout your life. And also find resources that can help you build your credit. I know that's something personal of mine that I'm working on. I'm working on my, well, me, especially me being 30, that is something that I'm obviously working on or trying to work on, you know, um, so that's just something that you can also do and be on top of because have an excellent credit. Um, you can do so much things if you have excellent credit. I've experienced it, not saying I had the highest credit score, but I was able to do things, you know, because I've had, you know, credit, like a, a, decent, a good amount of credit to where I could do certain things, you know, and, um, that's important. It's definitely something important. It's definitely something they don't teach you in school. So definitely get on top of it if you haven't already. See what your recent credit score is and see how you can improve your credit score. And just be careful who you may reach out to because not everybody have your best interest at heart. Some people, you know, can use you for money or, you know, just not everybody may have your best intentions. But even if you're not going through like a person to help you get your credit back on the right track, just make payments, set up payment plans. Um, try not to put yourself in even more like of a, like in a credit hole, you know, that you really can't get yourself out of. 
because it could be hard to kind of build it if you get so far behind. So try to avoid certain things. And most definitely, if you have younger people looking up to you, definitely give them these type of tips. Another one is also checking your background credit. So you can check your background credit for free. There's an app where you can check your background credit for free um, because that's also something that people don't check every day unless you're going in for a job or something. So I definitely feel like it's something good to know um, just to know what you're getting yourself into when it comes to certain things. That way nobody can say know something about you that you don't know. You just never know. But that's just also something just to keep in your mind and something that you could have access to and something that you could get for free as well. So if you are a go-getter like me, or if you're trying to be your own boss, you know, you name it. I'll say be your own advocate. Speak for yourself. You know, you got this. Until you can at least establish your own team, like a surrounding, you know, group of people that you trust, whether that's family or someone you're just meeting, or whether you work your way up to getting a management, if you feel like that will be best for you. But if you don't have those things, be your own advocate. Because at the end of the day, you have to be the one to put your foot forward. No one is not going to do the work for you, especially if you have your own vision in life, you know. So I'll say definitely be your biggest advocate until you're able to get those other resources for sure. But it's definitely possible. It's something that could get done. So that's another tip for you guys. Okay, loves. So another tip that I have is basically set like a date where you want to accomplish a particular goal that's going to help you you know to become better or to even more successful basically in your life you know and so with that being said make sure that you're saving whether that's for example ten dollars twenty dollars whatever you could just put it into a savings account i know some people struggle with saving but i truly believe if you are a determined person you're gonna save for what you really want in life right and that's where self-discipline comes into play like i'm not being able to touch your money because in the long run you're doing something for yourself you know and so if you want to see results you have to act on it so definitely set a date and the only reason why i say is set a date because i know like everything's a process it doesn't happen overnight but the reason why i say set a date is because that's what gives it a even a more of a challenge for you and it makes it even more worth it and rewarding at the end and you would just feel like so proud about yourself and i'm also taking this in for my own advice as well so definitely i, I don't know i just feel like because i'm 30 not like i didn't feel this way before 30 i just feel like now that i'm 30 it's just I just want to just be really knocking these goals out like I don't want no procrastination I don't want to keep pushing it back like say I said this today but here I am talking about it again in the next three months like no like you need to act on it act on it accomplish it because time is passing you can't take back time so definitely hop on it and do what you got to do do what you got to do and even and if it helps you you don't have to set this big goal set a smaller goal so for example if something costs around 120 that can help invest in something that you want to do or something you're just trying to pay off or get that's going to be something beneficial to you in the long run i'll say start with that start by saving for example 120 start saving whatever you could that will allow you to have 120 to the side of your savings account for that particular thing and you know 120 shouldn't be hard to get like to save in due time you know so that's also realistic and you know it's realistic because it's not like okay well i want to save three thousand dollars okay well that may be a little bit more time consuming for you based on your financial you know situation and stuff i get it um but even that is very very possible if you put your mind to it but if you're not able to do something that big depending on what you're trying to do in your life then start with a smaller goal you know start with a smaller goal 
you know, anything that's basically going to help you elevate your life. And with that being said, I'll say set aside things that you are, are spending on leisure or for fun until you accomplish those goals. So be able to sacrifice something in order to get something that's going to help you elevate become successful and accomplishing those goals you don't want too many distractions you know even if you have to step away from certain people certain scenes you know it's okay to say no to people um if you feel like social media is a distraction for you take a week or two weeks off from social media that's if social media is not part of your income but take away things or sacrifice something that you feel like may kind of become a distraction for you in accomplishing them goals. Not saying you have to quit it forever, but in order to accomplish those goals, sometimes you just need to sacrifice something. Because if you're spending your money all the time on going out, you know, that's just taking away from things that you could be putting that money towards that you've been wanting to get a long time ago. Or if I would have just saved this, I could have been invested in that business or or I could have been got that car or house a long time ago if I would have just been more disciplined and just sacrificed just the fun. And I'm not saying you can't have fun because you guys know I love to have some fun. Like I'm a risk taker. I truly believe in enjoying life and not letting bills and things stress you out. I live off of that. But, you know, when you reach a certain level, especially maturity or growth or wisdom, and like I said, starting to say your 30s or 40s, you name it, you know, some things you're just going to sacrifice just to get what you want that's going to help you and your family grow in the long term. You know, whether that's stability, financial freedom, um, being able to do whatever you want, whatever you want. So things like that. So if you want all those luxuries and things in life and freedom, then make sure you're working hard towards those goals to accomplish them and actually showing for it, not giving up, keep on being consistent until you are able to reach those goals. And then maybe you can treat yourself to like a nice restaurant, get a nice dessert or treat, you know? But truly, I feel like putting the things that are important first and then whatever you have left or whatever, you can have some fun, as long as it's not going to hurt you, you know, or still even save because you never know. And you never know what may come up because we all know life be life in. So, you know, emergencies will probably happen. So if you don't have no money saved for emergencies or, you know, it's just life is just, you know, also very unexpected. So definitely just make sure you are being prepared. You are being head on strong and tunnel vision, basically. <laughs> and I have one more tip to give you guys for this video so far. Okay, so one final tip is I have to share this because I truly believe this has a lot to do with what you can get yourself into. You never know who you may come across or just overall just being a person that, you know, others can see as value or to be taken seriously or, you know, because first impressions mean everything, everything. So I want to say dress with style, dress with, you know, dress classy dress modestly you know like dress in a way where you look you know like you look presentable whether that's business attire or you just dressing classy modest but with style okay um and also make sure you are giving that confidence like you are bringing that confidence when you get around certain people whether that's a job or whatever that can help you elevate in life you know um make sure you are presenting yourself because image is everything and you don't ever want people to look at you the first time and have a bad image of you you do want people to take you seriously if you want to, people to work with you or to invest in you or whatever the case may be even if you're your own boss whatever you want to make sure that you are confident in what you are trying to do you know, and people will be able to see through that. They will know like, wow, this person is for real. Like this person is serious. This person has tried. This person is positive. This person just, you know, is a go-getter, you know? And um, that what could take you far. That can truly, I believe, can take you far. 
when you look presentable, when you look professional, when you look feminine, like a lady, you know, and you're about business, really. So I definitely feel like that is something that I feel like anybody can take because people love confidence. You know, people don't want to hire someone if they have low self-esteem, they're not that confident, um, they're not, say, good on time management, they're not reliable, um, they're not driven, like they don't have no ambition. People want to be around ambitious people, whether you are someone where you're going to be around a lot of people or you're not. Like people want to see that though, because it brings positive energy and when you deliver a certain way, that's how people get promoted, you know, because they are qualified. They're qualified for the job. They're qualified for the role because you are delivering it and you're delivering it right. And that, that is what will get you, that is what will get you booked in the long run or keep getting booked, you know? So you definitely want to leave a good impression, you know? Don't bring your personal life to your workplace unless you guys was having an event where everybody was just, you know, venting and they took the work stuff off the shoulders. You guys to just relax and just having, like, say, a good time. But there's a time and a place for everything, you know. So I really feel like you have to stand up and deliver. You have to be, like, you have to bring it. You have to bring it. And I get it, not everybody's a boss or meant to be a boss, but you don't even have to be a boss. You just want to be taken seriously. You know, people can say good things about you when you're not around, you know. So that's pretty much all I have for this particular video. Please let me know if you guys enjoy me doing these motivational videos because I am a positive person. And why not share something, whether you guys heard these things before, but still, like, these are, you know, I feel like great things that can truly help you. Um, because not everybody, you know, may know these, believe it or not, not everybody may know these things or it could be something that you are lacking or something that could be holding you back. So these are definitely things that I feel like can help get you going, feeling motivated, feeling great about yourself. Um, something that can help you get out of depression if you're feeling depressed. So I really hope. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys like this video for me. Hit the push notifications to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.